Hey guys, today we will discuss about how to insert table of contents in LaTeX Overleaf. And uh, the simplest thing, uh, the simplest way uh, to do this is if you have a document where you have sections, subsections, um, and uh, there is a whole layout of the document. Uh, so just to add this command, the table slash uh, table of contents and your uh, document will create the table of contents. So let's just say this is my document that I have the sample document that I have created. And just, I will just compile it to make sure. Okay, currently there is no table of content here. So I will just add one table of contents. And here it is, the table of content uh, has been added to the document. Uh, just remember that uh, uh, it also depends on the type of uh, document uh, you are using. So right now I'm using article. Um, for example, I use uh, report. So you can see the document layout uh, changes and so, so is the um the table of content and its numbering scheme as well so uh, so it is important that what kind of uh, document class you are using uh, and that will uh, determine the type of uh, content and numbering scheme you will have um so this is this is the example from over uh, so you can add this and if you want uh, yeah. So if you want to uh, alter the um, heading of the table of content, so you can add this command, renew command, static content name summary. So if you add this, like here, I have added this. So basically, what it does, it will change the heading of this table of content. So you can see a uh, heading as in chain, but you can also uh, type some other thing, uh, some, uh, some other text too, um, to your, according to your liking. So like this, uh, so it has added uh, the text that I, uh, I was wishing to add here. So there's something about it in table of content. So table of content, as I mentioned, that it, it, it really depends on the type of, uh, uh, or the layout of the document you have. Uh, so import, the important thing is that, that you must create sections and subsections in your documents. And uh, this will lead to um, the, uh, you can say automatic uh, generation of the uh, table of content. So you know, in order to, table of content to work, you must uh, include it, uh, this command in um, uh, within the begin document, uh, you can say tab. So uh, it will be uh, shown uh, here. So uh, next thing we will discuss about in this regard is that obviously the sectioning of the document. Uh, it's really simple that you uh, uh, make section by this command uh, in the first section, whatever the name of the section is, you can uh, give it here and so on. So you can do sections, subsection, subsection, and so on. So there is a hierarchy uh, in the LaTeX, uh, you can say, uh, in the LaTeX to do this, and uh, there is a limit to do, uh, there is a limit for that as well. And so here is the, um, the seven levels that uh, has been uh, mentioned here. Um, so if we talk about zero level or minus one, it, it can be part or a chapter. These two normally comes with the book or a report and uh, document type. They don't work with the, uh, obviously article. You don't have a, a, a parts or a, a chapters in articles. 
but uh, you do have section sub section sub sub section paragraphs and sub paragraphs in the article uh, as well so uh, let's just say for the example for the sake of uh, just example i create chapter so this is in the chapter i have created and i will create another chapter for example yeah so let's just compile it I has a I have compiled. You can see as I have added uh, the chapter. I have not changed any other thing. Just I just added chapter. You can see table of content and its uh, hierarchy and, and its numbering scheme has suddenly changed because the what I have done uh, with the levels of my uh, you can say distribution on level of my documents. So basically, uh, that's how it works, and you can add. um normally uh, in a in a you can say paper content uh, sec sub sections do uh, show uh, in the table of content but sub 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 section or later on uh, further down levels they do not uh, uh, you can say they are they do not show in the table of content and uh, so normally it works in that way um so i guess yeah you can practice it at home and uh, uh, if you have any comment uh, or uh, you want to learn something more you can always ask so as we have uh, uh, generated the table of content and we have uh, seen uh, uh, that uh, there if there are sections sub sections uh, and chapters and there is a level of hierarchy in your document you can uh, just uh, read the table of content in a quick uh, just by writing this one command you can also write the list of uh, tables and list of uh, figures uh, after the uh, you can say uh, table of contents so let's just do this and uh, it's very simple uh, just write list of figures and whatever caption your figures will have they will be displayed here right now i don't have any caption so they are not displaying but let's try some caption like here so let's just say so this 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 is what i uh i mentioned as a caption or you can say um the the description of the figure i have added something in the as a description so this is called a caption so you can see the caption has been updated here and it is also showing that the page number it is on so similarly you can do the similar uh, uh, task with the tables as well i have some tables here um and let's do this with tables so i just have to first add the add the command first of tables so you can see list of tables has been added right now i guess i don't have any caption to the table so let's just compile it so you can see my table has uh, has 
is showing now because it has the caption tab uh, command in it and we can do the same for the other paper as well just add caption whatever you write And just to uh, clarify here, uh, it, it automatically uh, numbers the tables here and generates its number, table number, uh, according to the section it is in, like it is in chapter two. So it, it has automatically uh, numbered it like 2.1, 2.2, and the page number. And similar, uh, similarly, you don't have to number the figures. It will automatically, uh, you, can, you can clearly see here, That um, you just have to yes. So you can clearly see there that it is in chapter one, and so it has numbered it as one point one, one point two, and it is in chapter two, so it has automatically generated its number. So you so in later, unlike Word documents or other text editors, you don't have to number and the uh, uh, figures and tables are accessibly. So that gives you a very, very powerful way of managing your whole document because when you are submitting your documents to different journals or or different and for or for reviewing or uh, you undergo extensive changes uh, throughout the period of time. So it, it gives you the liberty of uh, uh, not having to worry about this uh, uh, you can say minor adjustment each time uh, so uh, that's how it works uh, i hope this uh, help and uh, just practice it and uh, stay safe uh, from coronavirus and healthy um, and best of luck and do subscribe the channel for the future video thank you Allah.